today's tutorial how to do outdoor fashion catalog shoots Jessica are you ready Action. well if you're new to natural lighting shoots let me give you the lowdown you have your ISO you have your shutter speed you have your aperture well, among these three settings, the one that will really affect how beautiful your photo is, is actually your aperture. Look at how blurry the background is. That's controlled by the aperture. Well, the go-to numbers for aperture would be f2.8 and f4. Don't go too low. I know your lens can go as low as f1.4, but if you look at this shot, her eyes are blurry. Well, regardless what you're shooting, if you're shooting fashion, the dress has got to look sharp, her eyes got to look sharp, her face got to look sharp, the background's got to look blurry, and that can be done with f2.8 and f4. You don't need to go as low as f2. That's scary. Alright. Okay, last one. The three go-to croppings that you must do when you're shooting such shorts. Crop at the waist and get shorts like this crop at the knee to get shots like this and finally full body shots where you can see the feet of your models don't waste time these are the three shots that are going to be so useful when you put them up on your online store let me tell you who your biggest enemy is it's not creativity it's time when you're shooting outdoor like this you got to keep track of time let me explain this the model will take five minutes to change and also touch up her makeup you will only have five minutes to shoot about five to ten different croppings and poses per garment and after that when she changes again you have another five minutes to choose the location and to make sure that you do all the setup that's a good 15 minutes per clothes item now most online store would bring 25 or 20 clothes to a shoot per day so let's say they give you 20 clothes that's 20 times 15 that's 300 minutes now 300 minutes is a good five hours without break well we established the fact that time is an important factor which is why the next tip is that my advice have two different cameras for this kind of shoot you have no time to change lens you have no time to set up the white balance to a different configuration in shutter speed and f number when you're shooting flash so what i typically do one camera for flash shoots another camera for natural lighting you can even configure them in such a way one is for full body shoot the other one is for those half body and macro shots you will shoot faster and you notice one thing one extra tip i don't use strap well just be careful if you are clumsy you will drop your camera even if you have your strap well, thank God I've never dropped any camera before, but I find that straps always get in the way. They get yanked on furniture and fall easily and you work slower. So go without strap. Train yourself to have a strong arm and you'll be fine. And here are the go-to settings if you're setting up a camera on flash. F11 or F16 so that I have a higher depth of field. A shutter speed of 1 over 200 so that I don't break the sync. An ISO of 100 or 200. That's on the flash. On the natural lighting, I may go on f2.8, an ISO of 800, and a shutter speed of about 200 or 300. And this is where you need to also set your white balance. Typically, I like them warmer, which is about 5005 or 5003 on the Kelvin. You know, there's something that you must remember is the ISO. ISO is the brightness of your camera. Now, typically when you're shooting outdoor, Jessica, you have bright locations or dark locations. So two of my favorite ISO when I work on such snappy shoots where results are important is ISO 400, ISO 1600. Four for bright locations, indoor or outdoor. 1600 for dark locations. Beautiful. Hey, you know how photographers like us always have torn jeans at the knee section here? Well, it's not because that we took a knife to it to look trendy. Let me encourage you to always squat down whenever you can. And that's how we get our torn jeans. That way your model will always look taller. Take a look at this series of pictures. Compare the differences when I take them standing up and when I take them squatting down. 
Remember, you are selling clothes online. You're not shooting just a pretty girl. Your aim here is to make sure that the clothes get featured. So make sure that you cover the front pose, the back pose like this, the side poses, and also my favorite macro detail shots so that the buyers can see how the fashion look like. Smile. Right, that's good. That's nice. Hang on. Ah, you know what? Take that shot. Don't worry too much about having people at the back. Your image editing software is just so smart these days. Let me show you how you can get rid of background distraction easily. There are two ways you can add lights. One, get a reflector like this. But it's troublesome. You need somebody to hold that reflector. You need an assistant. Or the second way, get yourself a flash, put it on a light stand. And the trick is to have an umbrella that's small enough. Why do you want an umbrella this small? Because when you're shooting outdoor, they tend to catch wind. The bigger the umbrella, the easier it is for it to catch wind and you're gonna drop your flash with the light stand, you're gonna go whoosh, fly. But here's another trick. You see this knob here? Too frequently photographers tighten this knob too much and this will make the umbrella very tight. But that's bad news. When the wind blows, whoosh, you lose your flash and the umbrella and the light stand. Instead, when you're shooting outdoor, loosen this knob as loose as you can get. So if the wind comes, boom, umbrella flies away, your flash is still intact. In the previous episode, I spoke about an umbrella cutting away two stops. Well, a small umbrella cuts away two stops too. And that is why my go-to number on the flash would be at 1 over 2 or 1 over 4. So all I need to do to get perfect exposure is not on my flash, but to go to my camera's ISO, bring it up, if it is too dark, or bring it down if it is too bright. And if the background is too dark like this, you can always use your shutter speed, a lower number. That will give you a brighter background. And since you're not going to be dealing with so many flashes and you only have one flash, my advice, put the flash at the back of your model, like what I'm doing here with Jessica. Put it about five to six feet away. Raise it up have the flash coming down and let me show you what you get with this kind of lighting. When you're shooting outdoor, the models need to change very quickly. Introducing the sarong. Well, let's have Jessica showing us how to do this. Step 1. Get into the sarong like Jessica here. Step 2. Bite the sarong with your teeth to hold it up. Step 3. Undo your dresses inside the sarong. And the last step, you are done. And that's how you can quickly change outdoor in a sarong. Great news! Let's use all our photos to get an animated fashion catalogue. Thank you, I hope you liked today's tutorial on how to shoot fashion outdoor effectively for your next catalog shoot. If you like what you learn, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And hey, that is a good news I want to share with you. Heard of this e-learning that we have, the Advanced Flash e-learning? We will be having a promotion soon, which is 50% off from the usual price. Stay tuned and go grab those courses on our e-learning website so that we can continue making YouTube videos like this for free on photography. So that is why I always like to flat Wait. aim it towards 
Suk Kwon's shoulder. I should call her Jessica. <laughs> Jessica, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, one more time. Continue roll. With all this workflow in your mind, that's your biggest enemy. He is my biggest enemy. <laughs> is he in the frame? Uh, no. No. Okay.